think we're live now. We are live. Okay, let's take a look at this. So, 9 15 2021. Our objective is graphing parabolas. Parabolas are, they look like that. Okay, graphing parabolas. Parabolas look like that. They're kind of, and they can even be upside down too. If it's a negative, then they can be upside down, right? All right, so if I take a look at this, example one is in vertex form. I like, I like vertex form. I like it a lot because there, my vertex is just HK. It's my vertex is just HK. So if I look at example one, my vertex is just two, negative four, okay? It's always gonna be the opposite. That's what math, the negative means in math, the negative means opposite, so it's going to be the opposite of the inside. We, we keep saying that. So, in my example one, if I want the vertex of this one, my vertex is automatically going to be opposite of the inside, positive 2, negative 4. So, I'm going to go ahead and put that on my graph, okay? So, I'm going to go positive 2 negative four. It's right there. It's right there. Okay. There's my vertex. Two comma negative four. Okay. Now line of symmetry. The line of symmetry, it's like the middle. Does that make sense? It's the line that goes through it. And it's it's not part of the graph. That's why I always do it as dashed. It's just so I'm gonna make a dashed line to show it, but it's kind of like the line where we can fold the points over, okay? And I make it dash because it's not part of our graph. It's just the folding line. Does that make sense? So my line of symmetry here, line of symmetry is just x equals 2 because it has to be the x value of a vertex, okay? So if I look at my notes, it says line of symmetry is just x equals h which is that number right there. And for us, it's gonna be the two. Okay, how am I doing so far? That was easy. Now, if I want the y-intercept, it says to let x equal zero. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take my equation and I'll let x equal zero. So I'm gonna go, okay, so x-intercept. Nope, y-intercept. So I'm going to go y equals, I'm using this equation, parentheses 0 minus 2 squared minus 4. Okay? So my formula, my notes say let x equal 0. So I went to my example here. Here's my example. And I put 0 in for x. Okay? That's all I did. Put 0 right there in for x. And then I'm going to simplify this. That 0 minus 2 is a negative 2. And I know a negative times a negative is a positive, right? So I get a positive 4 minus 4. And I get 0. So my y-intercept is at 0, 0. Because I let x, so my y-intercept is at 0, 0. So I'm going to graph that. My x-intercepts, it says let y equal 0. So to find my x-intercepts, my form says let y equal 0. So I'm going to go down here, and I'll do that. Find my x-intercepts. And I'll go 0 equals x minus 2 squared minus 4. Because it's so my formula says let y equal zero. So I let y f of x and y are the same thing. And I'm gonna solve, okay? So first thing, I'll add four to both sides, okay? Add four plus four plus four. Four equals x minus two squared. I just added four. 
I'm going to undo the square by square rooting. I'm going to undo the square by square rooting. So I'm going to square root both sides to get rid of the square. How many answers, how many x-intercepts are there normally? Two, right? So we get two. To get two answers, we get the square root of four is two and negative two. So it's both a positive two and a negative two. And so then what I can do is since I need two answers, I need two equations. I need two answers, so my two equations are 2 equals x minus 2 and negative 2 equals x minus 2 because of a positive 2 and a negative 2. Plus 2 plus 2 on this one, x equals 4. There's one of my x-intercepts. Plus 2 plus 2 on this one, x equals 0. Okay, so I've got x-intercepts. Let's check out my graph. 1, 2, 3, 4, I have my zero, okay? Okay, now I can graph it. How's that look? Increasing, decreasing. It is going uphill, increasing. It's going uphill when x is greater than 2. It's going uphill. Decreasing is going downhill when x is less than 2. We'll talk more about this as we progress. Okay? That wasn't so bad, was it? Okay? Okay? Now, turn the page. Okay, now, standard form of parabola is a little bit harder. It takes more work. But we can do it. So first of all, my notes say, let's find the line of symmetry, okay? So here's my example. A is 1. B is 2. And C is negative 8. A, B, C, OK? A is always the number in front of x squared. B is always the number in front of x. And C is the number on, on its own, OK? So we've got a formula. Let's find the line of symmetry. So I need this formula here. I'm going to use my negative b over 2a. That's what my line of symmetry says. All right, well, b is 2, a is 1. So I'm going to put my 2 in for b, but I'll go to negative 2 over 2 times a. The value of a is 1. So I just put my 2 in for b. My 1 in for a, that's negative 2 over 2, which is negative 1. Okay, now that is the line of symmetry is that folding line. That's my folding line. So I go to negative 1, and I'm going to just put my folding line right there, okay? That's my line of symmetry at x equals negative 1. Okay, now. Can we use our brains because we're smart. Okay, now, along this line, somewhere is the vertex. Does that make sense? So if we take our negative 1 and plug it in, we'll get its y value. Does that make sense? If we take the negative 1, we plug it in, we'll get where, where it lies, okay? We're going to plug in x equals negative 1, okay? All right, so plug in x equals negative 1. So I'm going to go y equals negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1 minus 8. And I'm just going to do the math. Negative 1 squared is a positive 1 because negative 1 times negative 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 minus 8. That's going to give me a negative 9. So my vertex has to lie along this line. So my vertex is at negative 1, negative, oh, 9, sorry, negative 9. I can do the math. Yeah, 10 minus 1. OK, so 1, 2, 3, 4. Let me grab my green pen. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 is my vertex, OK? 
Okay, now it gets easier. So now my y-intercept If I look at my notes to find a y-intercept, we just let x equal 0, right? Y-intercept, let x equal 0, right? So if x is 0, I have y equals 0 squared plus 2 times 0 minus 8. So what's that going to be? Negative 8? Because, okay, it's negative 8, 0 plus 0. So I get y equals negative 8. So my y-intercept is at 0, negative 8. And I can graph that. That's right there. X-intercepts. Well, let's see what our notes say. My notes say that y equals 0, okay? My notes say let y equals 0 and solve. Okay, so I'm going to let y equals 0, so I'm going to go 0 equals x squared plus 2x minus 8. Now, it's been a long time since we factored, but we're going to factor, and I'm going to remind you of factoring, okay? x times x, okay? What's x times x? x squared, right? You guys agree with that? x times x is x squared, you agree with that? And if I use a 4 and a 2, I'll get 8. 4 times 2 is 8, right? But I have to have a positive 4 and a negative 2 to also get a positive 2. And we're going to practice factoring more tomorrow, okay? So if I factor, then I get, it's in factor form, I'm going to get two answers. One from 0 equals x plus 4, and the other from 0 equals x minus 2, okay? Well, that's easy to solve. Minus 4, minus 4. So 1x-intercept is at negative 4. Plus 2, plus 2 is at 2. So I'm going to go back to my graph, and we'll graph these. I've got a point at negative 4 and 2. So I'm going to go to 2 and at 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Now I have everything. And I can graph it, but I may as well put down one more point. There's one more point, I got one really easy point. Check it out. You know, one e there is one easy point. Right, right there. Do you see why there's a point there? Tell me, why is there a point there? There's one on the other side. Yeah, exactly. That's just that obvious, right? I mean, you may as well put that one down because you know it has to be there, right? It's symmetrical, right? So I'm going to put my point right there and graph it in. Right? Now the last one is the easiest. I'll wait till you guys are ready. Okay, the last one's the easiest. So it's already in factored form. Okay? So let's find the x intercepts first. So if it's already in what we call factored form, then we can get the x-intercepts pretty easily. Okay. So I'm going to make my mini equations. Now, first of all, the 2, I'm just going to get rid of the 2. Divide by 2, divide by 2. I still have 0 equals. Don't need the 2. The 2 is just annoying. So if I have my mini equations, I can solve. Plus 4, plus 4, minus 2, minus 2, which is just the opposite of these, isn't it? Which turned out to be just the opposite. So let's write that down, because we did a whole lot of work when it could have been really easy. It's just the opposite. Turned out we got a positive 4 and a negative 2. All right, I like that. 4. Negative 2, okay? Now, the line of symmetry, I like this. These are easy. 
has to be here. Why does it have to be here? That's it. It's that, it's that easy, isn't it? You are so smart. Oh, it's got it. You guys read the line of symmetry right there? It's right in the middle, right? So we do the line of symmetry at x equals negative 1, right? Yeah. Uh, positive one. Thanks. Positive one. Positive one. There you go. Okay. So the line of symmetry is at x equals positive one. There's my line of symmetry. And then the last thing we can find is the vertex. Okay. The vertex has to be on this point line, right? Somewhere, right? So let's plug in the one to find out where it is, right? Yeah. Plug in the one to find out where it's at. Plug in the one. So let's plug in. So I'm going to have y equals 2 times 1 minus 4 times a 1 plus 2. So all I did is I put the 1 right there and there. Plugged in for x, because if so I put it in for both. Put the 1 there, and I put the 1 there. All right, let's see what that is. 2 times negative 3 times 3, negative 18. So it's going to be off my page. I'm going to have to go buy 2s. Okay, so I'm going to go negative 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. I'm going to have to go by 2s. And there's my vertex. Is that 1, negative 18, okay? Now the y-intercept, almost done, is when x is 0. Last thing and I'm done. y-intercept x equals 0. I'll squeeze it in and we'll be done. I'll have y equals 2 times 0 minus 4 times a 0 plus 2. Which turns out to be negative 16. And of course, we got one more point, don't we, that we can just find? You see the other point? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. See, look, you know what's going on, right? No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> you can know something, right? You do know something. And then I'm done. I put my graph down. Okay. All right, this is one of the harder units. You guys believe that? 